Can you tell your neighbor, all is well with us? Amen. And God will never ever leave us. Ona maudu mageri toga. Jesus ge tine. Wana si san. Ah. Ebu tu some mande kuma takatifo. Katika Romans. Romans 8. Verse 18. Niko na only 20 minutes. Na niko jaribu ku. Consider that uh, kama umefika pale, it is Romans 8, verse 18. Consider that our present sufferings are not worthy comparing with the glory that will be revealed to us. The Christian sweets in eagerly the expectation for the sons of God to be revealed for well, the creation was subjected to frustration, not by its own choice, but by the will of the one who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself will be liberated from the bondage to de decay and brought into the glorious freedom from the children of God. Amen. Bonas if Bibiria inatuambia ya kwamba tuhesabu sio kitu wakati huu tuna majaribu. Bwana asubuhi sana. Na kila mtu ako na majaribu. Dunia hii kila mtu ako na jaribu. There are some people who need papers. There are some people they don't know what to do next. Kwa sababu this this world is full of trouble. Bwana asubuhi sana. Kuna mmoja alisema dunia ni uwanja wa vita. Bwana asifiwe. Lakini kwa sababu ya Kristo Yesu mwana wa Mungu, yeye anatupa hope. He give us hope. Can you tell your neighbor there is hope? There is hope in everything. That is why the Bible says, give thanks in all circumstances. Ata kama ni kifo, give thanks. In 2015, nilikutuwa na shida ya kijana yangu. Yeye alikuwa memaliza university, alikuwa nafanya loo. Na wakati ya limaliza, yeye akaitwa kwa KDF. Na wakati ya lieto kwa KDF, yeye haku maliza mezi miwizi. Mimi nilipiwa simu, nikaabiwa kijana, amekufa. Ilikuwa ni wakati mkumu wangu, pamoja na familia yangu. Kijana umesomesha kijana, lakini sasa ameenda. Bona asifisana. Lakini wakati nilikuwa nauliza Bwana, why? Why? Why God? Kwa nini Bwana? Unajua Mungu alinijibu. Mungu akaniambia, "Kwani unahubiri wapi? Unahubiri watu waende wapi?" Unahubiri watu waende wapi? Basi wakati Mungu aliniambia hivyo, mimi nikanyamaza. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kwa kila mtu hako na shida. Tukiwa hapa tuko na shida. Kuna watu wameacha family zao nyubani. Hmm? Hawajui wanakana mna gani. Kwa hivyo, Biblia ina tuwabia, consider that our present sufferings are not worth. They are not worth. Because why they are not worth? Because God has given us hope. There is hope. Hallelujah. There is hope. Ata kama utapitia wakati wa magotwa. There is hope. God is a healer. And the Bible says, Ata kama tunapitia hivyo, We are more than conquerors. Sisi ni washidi. Ata kama nilipitia wakati mungumu na familia yangu. 
Hata ni sisi ni washindi. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hata kama huna barua, eh? Unashindwa utafanya nini? There is hope. Hallelujah. Hata kama unashindwa unalaa pesa inashindwa there is hope. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kwa hivyo Paul akasema ya kwamba it has not been revealed what will happen. But we know when Christ appear. Hallelujah. When Christ appear, we will live with him. That's why the Bible says, fear not. Because I have gone, I have gone to prepare a place for you. When I see fear it. Kila mutu, Yesu wakamondia, nimeenda kumuandaria makao. There is a place. And the Bible says this, it is a mash on it. Nyumba ambaye metengenezwa. Nyumba ambaye tutatembea. Hallelujah. Mbiguni hatuta kuwa na shida. Hatuta zikia mawafa. Watu wamekufa. Hatuta zikia tumewago na watu wetu. Let us hope. Let us come near to the Lord. Let us seek the Lord. And the Bible says, Diligently. This is the time we Christians who are living in this America. Hallelujah. It is our high time to seek the Lord. One as we say. Because there is hope. After kama tunapitia shida kwa shida kwa majaribu mengi, there is hope. One as we say. After kama mambo inakuwa mangumu, Kuna watu wanalia usiku na mchana. There is hope. Wana sweza. Ata kama umepewa, unashidwa, kesho nitaenda kazi, au nitafanya nini. We don't know what will happen tomorrow. But God is in control. The Bible says there is a divine protection. God will protect his people. Hallelujah. Because he lives in us. He cares for us. He is our shepherd. Daudi akasema hata kama ninapitia bonde la ufa la mauti, niko pamoja na Mungu. Hata kama tunapitia bonde la ufa la mauti, God is with us. And the Bible says he will never leave us. He cannot leave us. Hata watu wetu wale tunawapenda kado tulikuwa tunampenda hata kama ameenda hallelujah we consider nothing that is what the bible says amen, amen. and the bible says in peter uh, peter 5 in peter 5 Peter chapter first Peter was uh, 10 and the God of all grace who called you to be to his internal glory in Christ after you have suffered a little well you will himself restore you and make you strong in him firm and steadfast to him be the power of forever and ever. Amen. That is hope. Even if we are suffering a little while, there is hope. There is the grace of God. Jesus told Paul, my grace is sufficient to you. Even if you are passing trials, Problems, there is hope. The Bible says, Fear not. And the Bible says, His grace is sufficient to us. He called you to be to the internal glory. After you have suffered little well, He Himself will stop. That is the promises of God. Because the promises of God, they are yes. Although we are passing trials, sufferings, hallelujah, 
God will come to restore. We will come to restore the family and uh, the family, our families, the family of Carol. He will restore us. Even if we are staying here in America, God is there looking for us. And he will restore. Hata kama una unapitia shida gani. God will restore. Can you say amen? amen. He has led to restore. And make you strong. Hallelujah. That's hope. There is hope. Hata kama tunapitia. There is hope. Hallelujah. Chairman. Najua umepitia wakati mgumu. But there is hope. Hallelujah. There's hope. We shall be strong. Hallelujah. Because God is with us. And if, if God is with us, Hallelujah. The devil is a liar. What has we said? Daudi Akiuga. Akiuga. If God was not with us, it could be worse. She had money to go again. I could have won a door. I'm a kid. I'm a Goma Uria Fakana, the plan of the devil. Nikolina, one as we say. That's the plan of the devil. But we know there is the restoration. There is hope. God will make us to be strong. Atakama watu wetu, one to Naumia, Kama Karo Sahi. God will give us strong and God will restore us because he is a good God. Mwana ni rogosho. Nile diata koliro ni hindi yo. Gekuro na hindi yi tunguno. Mwana ni rogosho. Kanida ili to, tuka koro na hindi yi aduma kuwa. Mwana aswe sana. But we still praise the Lord. Ule wa hindi na uwe boro runga la. All is well. Ni moyo ya mwathiri. Aru usike family yake yove. Adhi ite ushua okera kendo. Agekora family yake na yadhi na kataru yove. And they died. No akiwa. All is well with the Lord. Toto ni amenya natri. God will restore. Halia. Halia ya na gap. Halia dora itake yote kuyulia. Halia amerike itake yote kuyulia. God is there to fill that cup. Hallelujah. When there is no peace, God is there to give us peace. When there is no joy, God is there to give us joy. Even if we are suffering a lot, even if we are, we are going in a way that we, we don't know what's next, one as we say, but God will restore us because He loves us. And the Bible, He will restore what the devil has done. He will restore that gap. God will restore. Hallelujah. 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 Na kihe a Israel hope a ke mero nange koromura agera mwaki ni God is there ona ke koromura agera joe ile na komoni na Hallelujah God is there ona ke koro ora ibwa to bokwa ah ne muri mo God is there to heal you ona ke koro ora ibwa to te go tora go kwa America God is there God is there. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. God is there. He is our shepherd. He will never leave us. He will restore us. When we are weak, God is there. When we don't know next, God is there to give you peace. That's why the Bible says, He makes all the where there is no way to make He make ways. <coughs> the Bible says He is the way. We have the way. At the to, we are suffering, there is a way. There is truth and there is life. And one guy told you, 
Mwana ni rogosho. Kiri ya tungu wekane kore nga. Ikure ki. Vengi ni wale tuwale ya Jesu. Hallelujah. Kiri ya tungu wekane kore na mwana ni restore. Wana aswe sana. Kiri ya tungu wekane it's to go to the nil and we kneel down and we seek the Lord. That because the Bible says when my people who are called by my name when they humble themselves and pray and cry the Bible says his ears is very attentive to hear the cry of his people chairman let us tell these people to stand and seek the Lord and turn their way their wicked ways hallelujah and to be righteous, let us to be to be holy, because our God is holy. The key to it, Kalevo, Kutulia, them, Mother Nirogosu. Gaiwi to Nimoderu, Natalisha, and Jagio. Nagaido Kaugate never will consider to do in America. We feel they wake up to do in America. His principles will never change, and he cannot forget his word. His word is a man. He is the same today, yesterday, and forever. Akisema ka hori. Be hori and brimless. You people who are living in this United Nation of America, be hori. Because the one who calls you is hori. Let us be hori. Hallelujah. Now to many, Jesus is coming very soon. Now every knee you shall bow and every time you confess that Jesus is the Lord. And everybody will give his own account. Now who will not call you or you will come to America? Legay. Mother Nia Rogosh. Who will not call you or you will come to America? Focus. Because he is the author of the finisher of our feet. He is the author. Hallelujah. Let us stand up. Kila mwaga ni duko na wika na wimotheru. Ono koro mbathi na maria wina mo. Mahana ni maije. The Bible says in Matthew, in Matthew, Matthew 11, 28. Come to me who has, who, those who are heaven laden, and I will give you rest. Take it away to Jesus. And the Bible says, cast all your cares to him. Because he cares for you. He cares. He is a God who cares. God will never leave, leave, forsake us. That is what he will never leave. He will never leave. He will never leave. Can we raise our hand and say, Lord, forgive us. Forgive us, Lord. Restore. What, where we have gone wrong, restore us, Father. Forgive us all our sin, Lord. All our iniquities. Forgive us, Lord. If we have gone wrong, oh, Father, hear us, hear our cry. Hear our petition, Father. Jesus, we know we are suffering. But the Bible says we are suffering literal. And very soon, and soon, we will restore. And will give us life and strong. Father, forgive us, O Father. More than the two are Zeni no ane tole ya Jesu. Gaini toga mwaza ni. Iku iluga me. Zeni no a Christo le Jesu. Iluga me zeni no a community shito. Iluga me zeni no a Ameriki ya no mwaza ni. Zeni no a Christo Jesu. Atuwa kwa waya gai na ituwa kwa baradia. Zeni no a Christo Jesu. Mwaza ni ituwa kwa waya. Gaia mula di mena mwaza. To begin, we move my coffee for that one. We are beginning to move my coffee. We are beginning to move my coffee.
God is God in all seasons. Whether it is winter or summer, God is God. And he's still sitting on his throne. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah, I'm so sorry I came late. I have been running up and down today. And so I, I ask Pastor Jeff to continue until I get here. And I thank you so much for coming and showing up without getting tired. There are people who have been here since Wednesday, every day. And there are those who are coming, um, you know, every day according to their schedules. And I thank you so much. And chairman is here, our community chairman. I see we have men of God here. I don't know if they they said hello. And I'm so sorry because I just came and took over in the middle. Uh, we have been going on well. We started on Wednesday when our sister Carol passed away. Uh, that morning, it was a dread. Uh, that was, I dread that day. I dread that day. I believe that you came because you honor and respect Carol and you want to celebrate her life. And the best thing we can do right now is to give our finances, uh, we give our resources, because we need to cater for a lot of bills that are lining up and we need to settle them and then after that we shall make sure that we give Sister Carol a very nice send-off because she's one of us, she has been serving in this church, she has been going to other churches. When you go to Seventh Day, they have an, they have an event, she is there. You go to JCC, she is there. You go to other places, she is there. She was like ever active with her baby Jerry following each other and going places to serve the community and to serve uh, the people, even people she did not know. Now, the reason you are here is about Carol, even if you don't know her. And one day, God is going to send people in your life, whether you're alive or not, he will send people, even people you do not know. And although I never got a Korea number to get there, okay, many other cannot come in here. Now I had a new car, praise the Lord. It's a rule uh, that can never be disputed, and that is the rule of sowing and reaping. It was law, actually. It was the law of sowing and reaping. When you sow, you shall reap. Praise the Lord. But when you sow one seed, you, you harvest more. So I believe whatever we are sowing today, 
we shall reap hundredfold, thirtyfold, fiftyfold, or even a thousandfold. Kogo duka e kukua koro, na duka e kuri kuo, uragi okanu urona ni okire. Sometimes you may come and nobody will notice that you came. But you know God has noticed that you came, and you are coming for that purpose, and that seed we shall reap. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah, re ugwe seed ya nebu he, awa chairman, atoga idia. And then, while he is doing that, I'll still be putting my mind together and I'll come back here to Wanda. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Sam, Pastor. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. God bless you. Uh, I greet you in the name of Jesus. Amen. How you doing, saints? Amen. How you doing? Amen. God is good. I give all the glory to him this evening and say he's still in the seat of power, seat of throne. We have gathered here because of Carol. I happen to know Carol because we spent the last week, you know, in the uh, services for offering together. She was there singing praises to the Lord. So she is a lady that I know very, very well. I know her when she was staying at uh, Mama Simon. So I met Carol a long, long way, and she was a young, respectful lady. And she has gone to rest with the Lord, in the Lord. Amen? Amen? So that's why the Lord has gathered here, gathered us here tonight. Thank you, Bishop, for the powerful word. May the Lord bless you. There are so many things that are happening in our community. Uh, even though we have come to mourn Carol, this year we have had so many losses of young people. So, so many, seven of them. This is not a good year for us. Amen? Yeah. And I asked the Lord, have we done something wrong? And the Lord said, no. Because it is not the Lord who is doing this. It is Satan. Amen? Mm -hmm. How is our faith? Are we going to start shaking? Are we going to start shaking because we are losing so many young people? But no, the Lord is still with us. He is still pressing us. And the way I know that is because I'm still here. Amen? Amen. And he is still with us on this journey. And if we walk together in unity and in love, we will finish up this journey. Amen? Amen. Until his second coming when he's coming to get us. Because he promised to come back and get us. Amen? Amen. Yes, yeah, so we are still patiently waiting. We are doing what we have to do. He has called us now to take care of Carol. And we will move on on this journey. As we walk together, let us walk in love of that Lord. He's a faithful God. He is so faithful. He chose you from so many people in Kenya and brought you to this land so he can bless you. Amen? Amen. He said you, you will stay in houses that you did not build. Did you build the house that you stayed? No, no, no. You see, he is a God of promise. His promises are real. Amen? And they are sure. And they are amen. And this is why we should keep all our faith in him. Amen. Amen. It is not our faith that's going to take us there. It's the faith of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Because Jesus had the faith in us. Amen. And he put it in us. Amen? Amen. So if we focus, keep our eyes on Christ, we will make it. Don't feel weak. Don't feel shaken. Because in him there is strength. Amen. That's what I heard from the pastor. Amen. So now, uh, tomorrow we are having a memorial service for... Uh, Frank, our young 16-year-old who lost his life. There is a memorial service that our nation will uh, go to put him uh, to his resting place. So I'm inviting every one of you who is available to come there. And let, let us join their family. They've been devastated. You know, it is not normal to lose a 16-year-old. Those parents, the support that people have given them have kept them going. Amen. So let us support them to the last day. And then we will still come and support the family of Cairo and support the church uh, Trinity Tree of Life. Because they, we are all family. Do you know when I look at my people, I look at all the happy faces here tonight. And I thank God for you. Because there was a time, and you ask your pastor, he will tell you. The whole community was about this big. This pastor will tell you. We were not this many. We were very few. We were concerned if something was to happen to us, how would we help ourselves? Mm -hmm. Today we come in big numbers because the Lord has blessed us. Amen. Amen. Amen? But still, 
there is a cry for our young people. We are raising a generation here that has no focus. A generation that can never call themselves Kenyan and they can never call themselves Americans. If you are raising a young one in this country, you truly need to be concerned. And you truly need to ask yourself, who are they? Because there is a Swahili saying, and I really don't know Swahili. That's what we are raising. Let's ask God that whoever we are raising, they would be mutumwas. Right? Because if we deny them their identity, they will never fit in. Not in this country, not in Kenya. Mm -hmm. You see, we are so fortunate, and God has been good to us, because we identify ourselves with, in, with Kenya. Mm -hmm. Every time somebody asks you, who are you? I'm a Kenyan. I'm from Kenya. You are so proud to say that. How about our children? Mm -hmm. What are they going to say? And until this community comes together, and we build a strong community for those kids, a community that they can identify with, we are truly failing in what God has sent us here to do. He did not send us here to build houses, believe me. Amen? He sent us here that he may bless us in this country and the generation that we're going to raise. We should, today, we should have a, a community center where all those kids are bused in the after-school program. They go there. They are taught their customs. They are taught their culture. All the old teachers from Kenya would be there teaching them helping them with their homework. Do you know, when a child cannot perform in school, they are bad on school. The school becomes the enemy. But if you help them with the homework and they feel proud when they are in school, they perform very well and they are proud of learning. But unless we form their community here, have you seen the Somalis, by the way? Has anybody seen their community? They came after us. We were here first. And they came... Some of them did not even speak a word of English. They came and learned English here. But we came speaking English. We knew everything. We could have formed a very strong community. And I will never stop saying that. Because I want our people, for the next generation, I want us to build a community that they can be proud of. A community that's going to support them. And a community that's going to give them an identity. Amen? Amen? So join us as we call you. We are trying to find out. Right now, we have a lot of kids that are in depression. They are going through depression because they cannot adapt. They don't know how to deal with the situation. You know it was hard for you, right? At times when you came, it was hard for you. Think of a nine-year-old and a seven-year-old. And they are still trying to adjust in school. Guess what? Most likely, they will join the wrong gang. They join the wrong company. Because there is a void in them. So let us get together. Let us walk in love. As much as we love Christ, he is calling us to build a community for their generation. That's why he brought us here. And he is calling us to be the building blocks. Each one of us. As much as we want to do for ourselves, let us do for the community too. That we may build a community. And all you have to do is give a little bit of yourself. Some volunteers, some monetary. Whatever you can do for their community, because we have to build a community here for our young ones. Amen? Amen? Yes, and then we will never lose them anymore. Because they will have an identity, they will have a community that they can identify themselves with, and we will build a strong community. And we will not have come here in vain. May the Lord bless you and give you the increase. Amen. Yes, I have known him, and he never gets tired. He is in every gathering, in every masakaya. He is ever in every fundraising for funerals, giving money, and he has never gotten poor. He, every day he has money. Even now he's telling me, bring money, bring money, because he has money. Praise the Lord. Go, 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 if you have a candle and you light other candles, it will not go off. Praise the Lord. Amen. So let us keep lighting other candles and making sure that we have enough light in our community. And 
we need to do something, and I know God will help us. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Yeah, the word says that the grace of God is sufficient for us. And where there is weakness, that is where his strength is manifested. Amen. Amen. 